G'day trendsetters. Enter the fray by Envy. It's not a gravel bike despite having clearance for 700C by 14 millimeter tires. The Frey is a road bike, but Envy isn't really calling it an all road bike. This video is not a review, rather it's a quick look at some of the standout features, but a review may be coming later. Watch this space. The Envy Frey could be one of the bike industry's worst kept secrets considering it was launched to Envy's dealer network about one year ago. However, due to the madness of the climate concerning the bicycle industry around the world, Envy decided to delay the launch until the day this video went live. The phrase geometry is optimized for tires measuring 700C by 31 millimeters up to 700C by 35 millimeters. Realistically, real world clearance is 700C by 38 millimeters with a two by, like this Dura Ace Di2 12 speed example, or 700C by 40 millimeters for one by. However, if you're thinking about riding tires bigger than 700C by 35 millimeter, which interestingly this bike is fitted with, these tires are by Envy. Envy suggests you think about riding their Mog bike it is a full-on gravel bike with clearance for 700C by 50 millimeter tires. And I have a video covering that sweet machine linked below or in the little pop-up above. Alternatively, if you're looking for a full-on performance road bike, Envy suggests you take a look at their melee. The geometry between bikes is quite different. For example, the head tube on the melee with a comparable size fray is going to be two centimeters shorter than the fray. So it's a slightly more upright, more comfortable position. This example is an NV size 52, which in real world lingo translates to a 539 millimeter top tube and the head tube is 137 millimeters long. Envy is offering this bike in seven different sizes with four different fork rakes and three different colors, salt, Venom and this example, Ash, which I like to think of as Battleship Grey or Destroyer Grey if you're a fan of the Dodge Challenger, Hellcat, Scat Pack, etc. Other standout features of the fray include the UDH rear derailleur mount. The bottom bracket standard is T47, I love that. And this neat storage compartment is what Envy calls the cargo box. You can fit all manner of goodies inside this compartment, perhaps a snack, perhaps a jacket, or some spares for your bicycle, should something go awry. I've knocked out a couple of very interesting mixed surface rides on this sweet bike near Paso Robles, California, so you have to forgive me as it's a wee bit dirty. Fender mounts are standard, which may help you personally stay somewhat clean. The frame features a ton of mounts, the usual places you would expect on the down tube and seat tube. But unlike many road bikes, you get a top tube mount or bento box mount, whatever your preferred vernacular is. And the funnel bottle cage mount is beneath the down tube in a place I like to call the cow catcher position. With Envy being Envy, all of the frame tubes on the fray have been aero optimized. Looking at the front end of the bike, which utilizes Envy's excellent in route system, no cables anywhere, super clean looking. However, your local mechanic may not be too chuffed about having to work on the bike. This example of the fray is fitted with a pair of sweet Envy 4.5s and according to Envy, plays so nicely with this particular bike. I mentioned this is not a review, hopefully that will come later, but this bike so far has proven to be quite a rocket ship across all manner of surfaces, including <laughs> some pretty dodgy descents. Not too far from Paso Robles, California. So there you have it, trendsetters. My quick look video at the all new NV Fray. All being well, I'll have a comprehensive long-term review of this very capable road bike coming later, so stay tuned. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel for interesting product launch videos such as this one. No bullshit gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and my favorite, general madness. So this is what cycling's all about, riding lovely yep. scenery and drinking beers during the ride. That's a sweet rig, eh? I like. 
He likes a lot. Very oh. nice. He's very nice back there. Nice bike. <laughs> all right then, as all of it is released to the channel, I'll see you. Where is this California sunshine? In the next video.